Casey Dare, world famous. <laughs> what we're doing here is we are drilling out the adapter and stainless steel. Now, you pre drill stainless. The key is you want cobalt drill bits. Um, normal high speed drill bits do not do well when you're trying to drink, drill stainless. So what we're doing is we're going to put the collar and we're transitioning. We've already pre-drilled the holes. Three times. Yep. And we're going to transition from the fluted. And Casey's going to show you what to do if that, show them how that fits on there kind of loose. And what do you do if your flutes are too loose? So I'm going to show you a quick little trick. You take a regular pair or a regular crescent wrench. And you just kind of hook onto them, just walk your way around, and just kind of make it bigger. And uh, so it'll fit. Those are the little tricks of the trade. Um, you can adjust things. You know, you want things to fit tightly. That's the whole idea. And the reason we're putting this collar on here is because we're using Simpson DVL chimney. Um, it's double wall. And it's getting connected to a different brand of Class A pipe. So if this was Duratec, it would just snap together. So we have to make a transition. Now you have to remember when you're doing a chimney, uh, you can see how that little deal has little, um, show them little clips on it that stick out, the little burrs. These little clips yeah. here. Those, if it was a Simpson box mm -hmm. or a Simpson adapter, it would lock right in with those clips. But being that we don't have a ceiling support box, this is, doesn't work that way. Now, show them how that slides into the top of the pipe. Those little, show them on the top of there. It, those little clips actually lock into the lip. There's a ridge around the pipe right around here. So when you stick that in there, it's not coming back out. So don't do it until you're ready to put it together. The getting that back apart is not very easy. So the only way to get this apart after it's been clipped together is you have to take the screws out. And the screws will be fastened to the chimney and the ceiling. So, um, so anyhow, we're going to go ahead and put this together. Casey will show you how that goes. A nice tight fit. And you just kind of put it in and use some screws. Anyhow, the, the trick to drilling stainless is take your time, go slow. If you drill stainless too quickly, you will drill, your drill bit will just be gone. So just take your time. You always got to do a, even if you have self-tapping screws, normally they won't go through. So when we're all done, we'll have a nice firm connection. So we've modified this pipe now to accept um, the Simpson. So what you're looking at here is is actually obsolete. Um, these are being phased out and Simpson has come up with a new way to do this. We're going to use this T here temporarily. Um, pipe that I have is it's not going to work. Show them this cool. option. This what is a, uh, a damper option. selection. Um, this is also what's called a stove top adapter. Um, six inch. It's got a fluted bottom. Stainless steel. This particular unit has a um, damper assembly inside. If you don't order it with a damper assembly, that won't be inside the middle of it. Damper, what that does is actually reduces the flow of the gases going up the chimney so you can extend your burn time. You know, it's just got some holes inside here and it allows some of the smoke to get through. But what it does is just shuts the some of the um, pull down on the chimney so that the wood doesn't burn quite as fast and it increases your burn time. Now, in our particular instance, that's how that would go. And I found on this stove, having that stove top of damper seemed to extend my burn times. Even though I have a very short chimney, 
Um, it just gave me a little bit more control. So I kind of recommend that with the stove. But I want to give you a disclosure. Janet in Indiana doesn't run a stove um, top of damper like that. And she said she's getting 12-hour burns. So, so my theory, it doesn't really hold water according to her. So it's kind of your call. But anyhow, that's why I have the damper assembly. And you notice on the pipe, <clears throat> you can see the holes in the pipe. That's because it's air cooled. I really like this kind of pipe. It's got a stainless steel mm -hmm. inner liner. If it ever have a chimney fire, comes it up. won't. Yep, the cool air comes in off comes the up. bottom and then travels up the pipe through the holes. And that's how the pipe is cooled down. All the way uh, through. And then it comes out the top. You'll see when we get the whole thing assembled. The holes. Flow all the way through. Yep. Not too much flow where it builds a lot of creosote. The pipe still stays hotter than it would if it was single wall. But a lot of people say, well, you, you lose all that radiant heat by going with double wall. Not true. It actually takes that wasted heat and that's you know your radiant heat and it converts it to convection through the pipe and then that warm air comes out the top you know, in the upper part. It's just natural convection. So anyhow, we're going to go ahead and put all this together. You'll see how that goes. We're going to show you how the draw collar actually works. And it's an electrical apparatus that plugs into the wall. And there's heating coils inside that's going to increase the draft. So, And there's some draft inducers that have little paddle wheels in them. Um, and there's different types. There's chimney top. I like this because it sits right on the stove, and it's kind of a neat little deal. So, so there we go. We'll get this thing put together. Next thing we have is the <clears throat> slip collar. And your DVL pipe, you'll notice one end of it is hollow. See how he can stick his finger. This is telescopic pipe. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to slide the other piece of pipe right, around. right in. So if you notice, show me the arrow on the pipe. Each piece of pipe see, this is you bottom. get, you'll see there's a little bit of arrow where his finger is. And that arrow means up. So that's how you put your pipe together. So that pipe slips down over the top of this pipe. And that makes it telescopic. Seams so, together. Yep. And then once he puts it together... <clears throat> it's adjustable. Now because we have a T, we're not adjustable too much, but it's enough to put this together. Enough, yeah. So until I can get another piece of pipe, we'll just run with a T for the night so we can get this thing hooked up and get some yeah. heat in here. This T wasn't here, it could slip all the way down. Yep. So there you go. We'll get it hooked up. Why don't you show them how that goes back together? So you just kind of pull up on that top piece and you're gonna it just snaps together, and once it locks in, you'll have a nice there you go. Now it's locked. When you hear that, it's done. You can see the air space at the top of the pipe. That's where your warm air comes up through the pipe from the bottom. Right here. And, uh, Cools the pipe down. Well, yeah. And I this way. showed you on an earlier video how that the black original pipe that was here uh, was single wall, how it was all creosoted except for um, where the insulated pipe is in the ceiling. So, anyhow, there you go. Alright, what we're doing here is we just took some rope gasket. Um, it's actually not rope gasket, it's braided. Um, it's like flat stock. And uh, it's pretty flat. Yeah. Stretchy. Yep. And we put Easy. it around the base of the draw collar and the stove because I can't use the stove top adapter. Yeah. So and then what you do is kind of just press it in. That's what you do if you have a situation where the the collar is too big. You know. Get some gasket, get something that's not combustible and stuff in there. Um, most
those stove shops, good hardware stores will sell this stuff. It's important that you have a nice tight fit. And then Casey's going to run the screws in. You just screw right through the gasket that holds everything in place. It's important that you screw your pipe together. If somebody comes along and cleans the chimney and they're kind of violent with a chimney brush and the chimney comes apart and nobody notices it and they build a fire, that is a recipe for disaster. So, uh, so anyhow, this with the telescopic pipe, we put our screw in to put it all together. So um, generally, yeah. Normally you put your seams to the back, um, but in the case with the T, the seams are already there, so Careful. we're going to change this out. Um, another thing is you want to pull your stickers off. Um, if they don't come off easily, wait until the pipe heats up, and they'll peel right off. So Woody from Obadiah saying goodbye. Mm -hmm.